Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, we're taking you on a journey to the future of SEO. And trust me, it's not just about keywords anymore. That's right. We're going beyond those old school tactics and exploring how AI is literally changing the way search engines understand us. Well, I, for one, welcome our new AI overlords. But seriously, you have my attention. What exactly are we diving into today? We'll be exploring some cutting edge research on semantic search AI and how you can adapt your strategies to thrive in this new landscape. So no more keyword stuffing like it's 2005, thank goodness. Thank you. Can you give us a glimpse into how the game has changed? Imagine this, you're Google. Back in the day, someone searches for best pizza and you just match those words to websites. Simple, right? Sounds pretty basic, but I'm guessing it's not that easy anymore. Not even close. Now Google's trying to understand the meaning behind those words. Are you looking for delivery reviews, a specific type of pizza, or maybe even a recipe? That's where semantic search comes in. Okay, so Google's basically trying to read our minds. Yeah. Sign me up. But how does this semantic search thing actually work? Think of it like this. Google's using AI to consider your search history, your location, even synonyms to figure out your intent. It's not just about matching words anymore. It's about understanding what you really want. So searching for best running shoes in New York City will give you different results than someone searching for the same thing in a small town. Exactly. Google might prioritize local running stores in your city and even factor in the current weather. If it's snowing, it might show you results for shoes with good traction. Wow, so Google's really upping its game. This is fascinating, but tell me, what does all of this mean for someone who's trying to get their website or business found online? It means we need to stop obsessing over single keywords and start thinking about topics and user intent. Instead of targeting best pizza, you should be aiming to become the ultimate resource for everything pizza related in your area. Think different types of pizza, best places to eat local reviews, even recipes. So it's more about creating content that comprehensively answers every possible question someone might have about a specific topic. That's a great way to put it. It's like creating a one-stop shop for information. We call these topic clusters and they're essential for showing Google that you're a true authority. This is making a lot of sense. But we can't forget about the AI behind all of this. Can we talk more about how Google's using artificial intelligence to power its search engine? Absolutely. Let's meet the AI brains behind the operation, starting with RankBrain. This was Google's first foray into deep learning AI for search ranking, and it's still a major player. Okay, RankBrain sounds pretty intense. What does it do? Think of RankBrain as a super smart librarian. It helps Google connect your search query to the most relevant concepts, even if you don't use the exact keywords that are on a website. It's all about understanding the underlying meaning. So I could search for how to fix a leaky faucet, even if I don't know the technical plumbing terms, and RankBrain will still point me to helpful websites. Exactly. It's like having a translator between your everyday language and the technical language of websites. That's pretty impressive. But I have a feeling that RankBrain was just the tip of the iceberg. You're absolutely right. Google's been busy building up its AI arsenal. Take neural matching, for example. This helps Google understand synonyms and related terms so it can connect your search to relevant results, even if the wording isn't an exact match. So if I search for running shoes for bad knees, Google will understand that I'm actually looking for supportive shoes. Precisely. It can decipher those subtle nuances in language that we humans take for granted. This is mind-blowing. But wait, there's more, right? Didn't Google come out with something called BERT? Uh, yes, BERT. One of Google's most sophisticated NLP models. While rank brain and neural matching help with understanding concepts and synonyms, BERT takes it a step further by understanding the context of words in a sentence. Give me an example of how BERT understands context. Let's say you search for, can you get medicine for someone in pharmacy? Before BERT, Google might have thought you were asking a general question about pharmacies. But BERT understands that the word for implies you're asking if someone else can kick up a prescription for you. Subtle, but important. Wow, that's next level understanding. Google's really cracking the code of human language. Is this the peak of their AI prowess or is there more? Hold on tight because we're about to enter the realm of MUM Google's latest and greatest AI. This thing can understand over 75 languages and even process images. Images too. Huh. So I could take a picture of a broken appliance and ask Google how to fix it. That's the idea. MUM is still in its early stages, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we search for information. Imagine asking complex questions that might require multiple searches today and getting a single comprehensive answer. Okay, I'm officially living in the future. This MUM thing sounds like a game changer, but how does it actually impact someone like me who's just trying to get their website or content seen by more people? That's a great question, and it leads us to the heart of how these AI advancements are shaping the future of SEO. 
Essentially, it's making old school SEO tactics obsolete. So all those tricks and shortcuts are out the window. Exactly. You can't fool these sophisticated AI algorithms with keyword stuffing or shady link building schemes anymore. The focus is shifting towards creating genuinely helpful, informative content that truly answers user intent. So it's less about gaming the system and more about working with it. Precisely. You're now collaborating with AI to provide the best possible experience for users. Mm -hmm. When Google's AI recognizes your content as the most relevant and helpful answer to a query, that's when the magic happens. This is all very exciting, but I have to admit, it also feels a bit daunting. Where do we even begin to adapt to this new AI-driven world of SEO. Don't worry. We'll unpack that in the next part of our deep dive. We'll explore specific strategies and tools you can use to thrive in the age of semantic SEO and AI. Well, I can't wait. I'm ready to unleash my inner SEO Jedi master. Let's do it. All right. I'm ready to unlock the secrets of AI-powered SEO. What's our first lesson? Let's start by demystifying a term we've mentioned a few times, natural language processing or NLP. This is how computers learn to understand human language, kind of like Google learning to read and interpret text just like you and I do. So it's like teaching a robot to understand slang sarcasm and all the other complexities of human communication. That's a great analogy. And it's why NLP is so crucial for SEO. Google uses it to analyze both your content and search queries. It's no longer just looking for keywords, it's trying to grasp the actual meaning behind the words. This is where I start to feel like I need a computer science degree. But could you give me an example of how Google uses NLP to understand content? Imagine you have a blog post about banking. Google's NLP can differentiate the word bank when you're talking about a financial institution versus sitting by the riverbank. It understands context. Okay, I'm starting to get the picture. But why should I care about NLP? How can I actually use it to my advantage? It all comes down to writing naturally for humans first. Forget about keyword stuffing or trying to sound like a robot. Google's NLP can recognize when content sounds forced or unnatural. So just write like I'm talking to a friend. Exactly. Focus on using the language your audience uses and providing genuine value. This naturally aligns with the idea of covering user intent thoroughly. So if I'm writing about electric cars, I shouldn't just focus on specs and features. I should also cover things like charging infrastructure, environmental impact, even the pros and cons of different models. That's the idea. The more comprehensive your content is, the more likely Google is to see you as an authority on that topic. This is making a lot of sense. So besides writing naturally, what are some other NLP-friendly tactics? Using synonyms and related phrases is key. Instead of repeating the same keyword over and over, vary your language to show depth of knowledge. And don't be afraid to answer questions directly, like in a FAQ format, Google loves that. It's like we're training Google to see our content as the best possible answer for those queries. You got it. Google's NLP even helps it assign a topical relevance score to pages based on how well they cover a specific topic. It's like getting graded on your expertise. Okay, so we need to make sure our content is comprehensive, natural, and answers user intent. Got it. But what about those of us who are a bit more tech savvy? Any advanced tactics we can use? Absolutely. If you want to dive deeper, explore tools like Google's Natural Language API. It can give you insights into how Google understands your content. So it's like peeking behind the curtain of Google's algorithms. You could say that. Yep. And if you're comfortable with code, consider implementing structured data, also known as schema markup. It's like giving Google a cheat sheet for your website, making it easier for them to understand your content. Okay, noted. But before we get too lost in the technical weeds, Let's talk about something that's revolutionizing local SEO voice search. Ah, yes, voice search. It's changing the game, especially for businesses that rely on local customers. Think about it. How often do you use voice commands to search for things on your phone? All the time. <laughs> hey, Siri, find the best coffee near me. It's so convenient. Exactly. And the stats don't lie. Over 58% of users now use voice search to find local businesses. That's a huge chunk of your potential customers. So if I own a local bakery, I need to be optimizing for voice search. Absolutely. But voice searches are a bit different from type searches. They're more conversational and often have local intent. So instead of typing bakery San Francisco, someone might say, hey Google, what's the best bakery near me? Exactly. They might even ask for specific things like gluten-free cupcakes or bakeries open until 9 p.m. So how do we optimize for these conversational local queries? That's the million dollar question. What are the secrets? First, target those long tail conversational keywords. Think about the questions your customers might be asking and answer them naturally in your content. So instead of just focusing on bakery, I might target phrases like, 
best bakery for birthday cakes near me or late night bakery in San Francisco. You got it. And remember those featured snippets we talked about earlier? Voice assistants often pull answers directly from them, so aim to optimize your content to snag those coveted spots at the top of search results. So we're not just writing for humans anymore. We're also writing for those AI voice assistants. You could say that. And speaking of AI, let's dive into how you can use it to supercharge your SEO efforts. This is where it gets really interesting. I'm ready to unleash the power of AI. Well, there are some incredibly powerful AI tools out there that can help analyze data, optimize content, and even generate content ideas. Wait, AI can write content now? Is that ethical? It's a hot topic. While AI content generators can create decent first drafts, it's crucial to use them responsibly. Think of AI as a writing assistant, not a replacement for human expertise. Always have a human editor review and refine any AI-generated content to ensure accuracy, originality, and that all-important human touch. So it's a collaboration between human and machine. Exactly. And besides content generation, AI can do so much more. Tools like Surfer SEO and ClearScope can analyze top-ranking content and give you data-driven insights to improve your own. So it's like having an AI SEO consultant on your team. That's a great way to put it. These tools can help you identify relevant keywords, optimize your content structure, even analyze your competitor strategies. Okay, I'm starting to see how AI can be a game changer for SEO. But do you have any real world examples of how businesses are using these tools to achieve actual results? Absolutely. Let's look at some inspiring case studies. Bankrate.com, a leading financial information website, successfully used AI to generate content which after being reviewed by human editors resulted in a huge traffic boost. So AI can actually help businesses get more visibility online. Absolutely. Another great example is Rocky Brands, a footwear retailer. They used AI to optimize their keyword strategy and saw a 30% increase in search revenue. 30%. That's mm -hmm. impressive. Yeah. I'm sensing a theme here. Yeah. These AI-powered tools are delivering some serious results. They are. And it's not just big brands that are benefiting Stack Media. A sports and fitness content site used AI to identify content gaps and revamp their strategy. Exactly. And it's not just about using the tools. It's about understanding the bigger picture, the shift in how search engines operate, and adapting your strategies accordingly. This has been an eye-opening conversation. But before we wrap up, I have one more burning question. How do I actually put all of this knowledge into practice? What are the concrete steps I can take to implement an AI-powered SEO strategy for my business? That's a great question, and it leads us to our final segment where we'll break down an actionable plan you can use to start incorporating these AI-powered SEO strategies today. Stay tuned. Okay. I'm ready for that action plan. Lay yeah. on me. How can I take my SEO to the next level with AI? It all starts with a thorough audit of your online presence. Think of it as a digital checkup. Google your business in a private browser, Use an AI-powered site audit tool and check your Google Search Console data. This will help you identify technical issues, understand your current ranking, and pinpoint areas for improvement. So it's like taking inventory of my digital assets and seeing where I stand in the vast online landscape. Exactly. You want to see what's working, what's not, and where you have opportunities to optimize. For example, is your website mobile-friendly? Are your meta descriptions compelling? Are you showing up in the local three-pack for your main keywords? The local three-pack? That coveted box at the top of Google search results that shows the top three local businesses, right? You got it. It's prime real estate for local businesses, and AI can help you get there. But a comprehensive audit is just the first step. Next, you need to optimize your Google business profile, like it's your website's VIP lounge. Okay, my Google business profile needs a makeover. What should I focus on? Make sure your business description is engaging and accurately reflects what you do. Use relevant keywords naturally, but don't stuff them in. Choose the right categories and attributes so Google knows exactly what kind of business you are. So I shouldn't just list myself as a restaurant if I specialize in, say, vegan Thai food. Exactly. The more specific you are, the better Google can match you with the right searches. And don't forget about visuals. Add high-quality photos of your product services and even your team. It's like creating a mini website within Google, showcasing the best of what my business has to offer. That's a great way to think about it. And just like any good online presence, encourage your happy customers to leave reviews. It's a powerful form of social proof that Google takes seriously. Okay, so I've audited my online presence and spruced up my Google business profile. What's next on this AI-powered SEO journey? It's time to embrace the magic of schema markup. Think of it as a universal language that helps search engines understand your content on a deeper level. Schema markup, that sounds vaguely familiar. Remind me, what is it exactly? It's a type of code you can add to your website that provides context to your content. 
Imagine you're writing about an event. Schema markup can tell Google the event's name, date, location, even the price of tickets. So it's like giving Google an insider's guide to my website. Precisely. It helps Google understand your content more accurately, which can lead to better visibility in search results, especially for local businesses. Got it. Schema markup check. Yeah. What else is in this AI-powered SEO toolkit? Remember those topic clusters we talked about earlier? Now it's time to create them with local intent. Think about the main services or themes your business covers, but from a local perspective. Okay, give me an example. Let's say I'm a personal trainer in Seattle. Perfect. You could create a topic cluster around personal training in Seattle and then have subages on topics like best gyms in Seattle, outdoor workout spots in Seattle, or nutrition tips for Seattle residents. So it's about taking those broader topics and tailoring them to my specific location. Exactly. This helps you capture those long-tail location-based keywords that people are using in voice searches. And it shows Google that you're the go-to expert for personal training in Seattle. I love it. It's all coming together now. Yeah. So we've got the audit, the Google business profile, makeover schema, markup, and topic clusters. What's the final piece of this AI-powered puzzle? Now it's time to unleash the full potential of AI tools. Use them to generate content ideas, analyze your competitors, optimize your content, and even automate some of those tedious SEO tasks. Remember those tools we discussed like Surfer SEO ClearScope and even AI writing assistants? Now is the time to explore them and see how they can help you level up your SEO game. It's like having an army of AI-powered SEO robots working tirelessly behind the scenes. I like the way you think. But remember, AI is a tool, not a magic bullet. You still need a solid SEO strategy, and the willingness to put in the work AI just makes that work smarter and more efficient. Right. So we're the conductors, and AI is the orchestra helping us create a beautiful symphony of SEO success. That's a perfect analogy. But even the best orchestras need to rehearse and refine their performance. The same goes for SEO. It's an ongoing process of monitoring, measuring, and iterating. So we're not just setting it and forgetting it. Yeah. We need to constantly be checking in and seeing how our efforts are paying off. Exactly. Check your rankings, analyze your website traffic, see what's working, and adjust your strategy as needed. The beauty of AI is that it provides you with a wealth of data to inform those decisions. So it's like having a data-driven feedback loop constantly guiding us towards SEO success. That's the power of AI-powered SEO. It takes the guesswork out of the equation and empowers you to make smart, strategic decisions. This has been an incredible deep dive. I'm feeling energized, ready to take my SEO to the next level. Mm -hmm. Any final words of wisdom before we wrap up? The future of SEO may seem complex, but remember this. Focus on creating valuable content for your audience. Leverage the power of AI and never stop learning. The digital landscape is constantly evolving and the businesses that adapt will be the ones that thrive. That's inspiring advice. I'm ready to embrace the challenge. Thanks for taking us on this journey into the future of SEO. It's been my pleasure. Happy optimizing.